you know, sometimes you just want to go out in the shop and, and make something. And you don't want to spend a lot of money on it and a lot of time. And I thought, well, I'm in that crafty mood. So I went on the computer and I drew up a, a plan for a clock. And if you look in our description box, you'll see a uh, hot link. It'll take you to our website where you can download this full-size template. Uh, real simple. It's it's a clock that, you know, it can sit on your your desk or a, a shelf. It doesn't take up a lot of room because I'm using three-quarter inch plywood, so it doesn't require a base. It'll just sit pretty well by itself. Uh, the clock insert I acquired from Rockler. You can get them in a number of different places. It requires a one and three-eighths inch hole. All right. Well, I don't have a one and three-eighths inch drill bit, so I'm going to be just cutting it along my line and it'll slip right in. It's a fast project, costs nothing because it's just a board and a clock insert, but it's fun and I, I knock one out. <laughs> so let's go ahead and build one. The first thing that I do when I'm making these template cutouts is I wrap my board in painter's tape. And the reason for that is uh, sometimes when I'm using these mastics, it's very hard to get the glue residue off the board. And I got to do a lot of sanding. And by putting uh, painter's tape on it, the painter's tape comes off real easy and the glue is adhered to the, the tape. So it's just uh, spray adhesive. I use the 3M uh, general purpose 45. I got it from one of the large uh, box stores. I just spray it on and then I put my template on it. And then it, it cleans up really easy because I just peel the tape off. Take a look. Now using a drill, it can be a handheld drill or a drill press, use a drill bit that's uh, large enough that you can easily slip your scroll saw blade through. And wherever you see white, go ahead and drill a small starter hole. And that's all there is to it. All right, just a couple of tips on this. Uh, make sure that your blade is perpendicular, 90 degrees right here to your table. And when you make your outside cut of your oval, uh, try to be smooth with it because that's what's gonna be noticeable. We're gonna take a sander and, and round it off if it's a problem, but that's really where you wanna be careful is the outside edge and the inside edge of this. That'll be noticeable. Um, just take your time.
The ship is cut out, and now this is where the, the payoff of that blue tape comes in. Just peel off the uh, template, and we'll be ready for a little light sanding, and we'll, uh, we'll put a, a finish on it. To finish off our clock, I'm going to use a lemon oil that I got out of the big box store. Uh, I'm just going to coat it, and I'm going to let it dry overnight. And then I'm going to use a satin clear spray. And this is a fast dry. I'm just going to uh, spray it, wait 10 minutes, use some very fine wool, just knock off the high spots. I'm going to spray it again, same thing, knock off the high spots, and then I'm going to spray it one more time, a third time. Uh, that's very fast though. It's not like you're standing around for 30 minutes. Um, you're just spray it real quick, three, four, five seconds and let it dry.